Okay, so this is Mega Man V on Game Boy. We're gonna be doing a Buster only. I'll be showing a tutorial on speedrunning this. So first thing I'm going to go and show up is uh, the original way you start the game. There's this cutscene that plays and it takes a bit. You can press start to skip it. But more importantly, there is a way to do a soft reset, which is allowed for this category. So that allows you to just skip that cutscene entirely. You don't even have to press start to go and skip it. Do the soft reset, you hold A and B, and you press start and select at the same time. So we do a soft reset, you press start, no more cutscene. Um, so there's stage select uh, mechanics here. It can get confusing at times. If I want to go to the bottom left one, you might think you press left, you don't. You press right. The right goes clockwise, left goes counterclockwise. That's basically how it works there. Very basic mechanics, just general mechanics for the game. So there's uh, sliding in this one. And there's ways to go and do canceling for your slides. So sliding is the usual way. You hold down or down and right, down or left, and you press A. It can be stopped by either pressing up or pressing the opposite direction or jumping. There's multiple ways to stop it. I usually prefer trying to do up, because it doesn't change the direction I'm facing with uh, charge. Charge is different in this game, too. There's full charge, does three damage. Half charge does two damage. And regular shot does one. Usually most efficient, just going to do half, half. A bunch of half charge shots, basically. You can like, practice just the timing for that. The second, like, you hear a little noise and release. Um, you might notice the full charge shot doesn't go quite full screen. This is important for a lot of the boss fights. You have to like, walk forward at the very beginning of the boss fight. Otherwise, it doesn't reach them. You can only have three shots on a screen at the same time. So if you're like facing off the screen, it doesn't matter. Or if you're right next to the enemy, it also doesn't matter. You can spam away. Menuing, you can press the B button to quickly flip from page to page. Instead of doing like up and then going through options. Um, it's useful when there's E-Tanks. So we're in Neptune stage right now, which will be the first stage that I like to do for the speedrun of this game. It also tends to be the one that's done in the uh, any percent route. So one thing you're going to do is called slide shots. Um, so what that is, is you fire and you slide at basically the same time. You fire slightly before sliding. So it's like you press B and then like you roll your D-pad down to down and press A right immediately after. So it looks like that in the end. B down and A. B down and A. It takes a little while to get used to, but you'll see it's very useful here. Do two slide shots there. Um, so we're going to come up to the helicopters here. They're a little bit random, but the first one's always pretty predictable. You can just do a really easy way. Just do full charge shots. Once you have your full charge shot ready, you just blast it. Not much really to it. Screen. You just do some more um, slide charge shots. Or I guess you do a slide, and then... Uh, then that, yeah. Then you do another one down here. Then you can start charging. Now, this is charging a little bit early. And then, um, the second helicopter you see is not always as cooperative with the pattern. So this is like a very, very, very bad one. I also made some mistakes on it. it takes three full charge shots to knock it down. Let's try to do that better next time. Um, something else I didn't man mention. Uh, if you don't need to be charging, try your best not to be charging. Because um, the Game Boy just can't handle too much of this. Um, adds some slowdown to the game, basically. So it slows you down. Try not to charge when you don't need to. This one's a little bit random exactly where it is. Sometimes it's just not at the right angle. This one's good. There we go. Get, need to get three full charge shots in there somehow. It's often like a little bit different than you would expect. So it can be a pain. Here you just do some slide jumps. Just don't bonk into the uh, lion mosquito boys or whatever. The water current carries you a little bit. Small jump there. This one usually doesn't fire at you, but occasionally he does, just like that. I might not be able to get it where he does not fire at me, but he usually does not fire at you. I'm just in a uh, weird save at the moment. See if I can uh, get a different. Doesn't look like I'm going to. Oh, okay. There we go. Fall down here. Um, so here, we're gonna do some steam damage boosts. 
So, if you didn't do the steam damage boost, usually this is what you'd be doing. You'd, you'd be sort of like waiting around, killing this thing, wait for the steam to go down, right? Um, so there's a couple ways. You can do this, which is the quickest way. Go through it like that. That's the quickest way. That or you can just kill it, slide, eat the damage, and go through. So, yeah. You're gonna do two shots. The first shot kills the uh, turret guy. The second one breaks the steam. You slide into it to fall down. You need to slide into it. If you just, like, walk into it, you're not gonna have enough iframes to get through it. Oh, you, you can't. I stand corrected, that's a different one then. <laughs> this one you still have, you'll still be in vulnerability frames to be able to get through it. You can try to jump that one. It is pretty difficult to jump, it's not a huge deal because you gotta wait for that steam. So, two shots, one to kill him, one to break open the steam. And you slide on through, try to jump there. Either two shot this guy or full charge shot it. Don't get hit. <laughs> you'll need it for health reasons. Whatever, just use the charge shot on it, wait for the steam to go down. Then you do two shots in the air. You just need to lead into the uh, that mosquito. And then you slide on through there with your invulnerability frames. We'll go back through that again. Steam boost here. Fine. Charge shot this. Time to get the respawn on the left, it adds slowdown. Kind of annoying. You have to lead that shot just right. You'll find out as you're running the game. I'll just put it that way. <laughs> I want to make this a pretty quick tutorial, not be like two and a half hours. Um, so, just sliding, jumping, not a big deal. Nothing you can really do to speed up this portion at all. You just have to uh, wait for the steam to go back, then you climb up. You can try to go and push your luck. Um, by guessing exactly when the steam comes off or getting a good timing in your head. To me, it's a little bit unintuitive, so I just wait. Uh, if you mess up, you get hit by the steam and you fall down the ladder. And that hurts a lot. When you know you're going to need it, you can start charging uh, pretty late, honestly. Here I'm charging it. I could have done it even later. Um, for the timing here, I just wait for the uh, the hand to retract. So let me like quickly go down and up. I don't get hit by steam. Did Amazing. Alright, so the way that the timing works out, I just wait for the hand to come back to me, and then I just jump and go. It usually works out for the timing of the, uh, the steam coming down. Um, so we're in the water area, those spikes kill you instantly. Try not to jump too high in there. I usually like having charge shots here. Kind of do two regular shots. Um, it's very difficult to control uh, your exact jump height, so don't sweat it too much. Really, really, really go and try hard optimizing this. The game still has a lot of optimizations to be had. And we move on to the boss fight itself. So, for the most part, you just want to stay close, um, do some full charge shots, and then release the charge shots. A good portion of the time, it'll be a half charge. And just try to stay in the middle of the screen at the end. That's because whenever you kill a boss, Mega Man will move to the center of the screen and then jump straight up in the air. So there really isn't much to cover on that boss fight. Um, so let's go to Mercury. So this I like doing as a second stage. Just another one that's fairly reset heavy to me, I guess. And it's also just the item any the, the item percent route, the any percent route. So what I like to do is charge shot the bird. So you can do a regular shot. It can be a little bit finicky though. Alright, well I'm getting it pretty good this time. So there's a few things. You can either ignore it, get the charge shot, call your death. Um, but here you want to be sliding all the way as much as possible to the end without much of a slowdown. You do need to stop there briefly if Buster only. Um, but for the most part you're just sliding here. You can slide all the way across that. You don't have to do anything special there. You gotta do a little wiggle at that part. So there's a couple parts where you need to like pause briefly. You can also just skip the bird. So it has a little bit of slowdown when uh, the bird is just traveling along. Here you gotta like wait for that to fall down and then go. Try to kill the bird. 
think in my uh, record I just uh, charge shot it. Then you slide all the way across that, don't have to worry about it, wait briefly, and you go up here. On the next screen, all I do is I just spam hold down and just spam A. That's all I do. Hold down and right and spam A. And then once you get start falling, don't press anything. <laughs> Otherwise you might run into this fight. So, hold down right and slide. Once you start falling, release. Then you can shoot the bird on the way down, or you can jump shoot it. It doesn't really matter. This guy takes too long to kill, so we're just going to slide through him. Here, sometimes you don't get bonked. A lot of times you do. Don't worry about it. Slide in there and jump. I'm just going to speed through a lot of like, the basic ones like that, where it's just you just slide, and then you jump. <laughs> um, here, you can try to speed up this portion a bit, do some slide jumps. Can be a little bit risky, but I recommend at least going for the first one. Um, yeah, because if, if you mess up the second one, you might fall like this, and then, you know, rest in peace to that run. So, stuff like that. So, I usually just go for the first one, but you can go for both. This guy takes too long to kill. Here, I'll, I'll just show what happens if you try to go and kill him. So, it took four damage, then he spawns this little critter, and just runs around and is a pain in the butt. So I just slide, fall, drop in here. Um, so this room can be a pain, as you see there. So you have to be spamming your shots at the right time to get enough hits in, and sliding through there. And I have slide cancel in there. Oh, so if you don't slide cancel correctly, it will squash. Pick up a health pellet, it freezes your inputs briefly. You just gotta be aware that's a thing. Then you can either kill this guy or just damage boost through it and don't worry. That's usually what I do. And I just eat that one and go. So that whole screen, you wanna kill the first one. Slide cancel through it. This one, you want to eat the projectile part of it, not the uh, actual body of it. And you have to wait briefly just because of the uh, timing of that crush. So we go back here. Kill him, slide cancel. You just try to like slide immediately, just like, alright, sure, I'm gonna go, right? You're gonna get stuck waiting, and then you have to run into his body, and then you're dead. So, you know, that's, that's kind of why. <laughs> It's just kind of the way that the cycles work out for this is it's always going to take the same amount of cycles, just wait for that projectile to hit you, it does less damage than running into the body there. And then you get up here and charge. You're going to need it, you need to do four damage to these, which is a full shot, followed by a regular shot. So full does three, regular does one. Um, this next screen is very difficult to optimize. You can kill it, um, again, like what I call like the impossible three shot. <laughs> So, what we do is you slide down here, release a shot, you jump, and you try to get three shots in. Um, so very, very, very difficult to do. If not, you can just do something like that, it's not a big deal. I like to charge shot that and then jump to the next platform. Um, let's get a charge, keep the charge going. Slide, release. Kill it. I like to charge here, it's a slight delay there, and then you just jump shoot the bird. You just want to be on a good uh, platform there. You notice how now it's pointing left? That means that I just barely made it while it was still uh, carrying me to the right. So eventually it switches back facing right, so the conveyor's pointing right now, so it shoves to the right. So if you go too slow, it'll be bad news. Very difficult to get that kill. I think I see some people like jumping on top of this or something. I don't know, I, I'm not gonna really show off what other people do, but I wanted to show just if you're too slow, you know, this is like carrying me backwards, now I have to like wait here. So, just be aware, if you're too slow. You can't kill that guy while he has the, uh, the object in his head, um, or whatever you wanna call it. <laughs> while he's holding it, the ball above him, you can't hurt him there, so if you wait here, there's a brief period where you cannot damage it, so. 
Amplified, release it. You still heard it then. Can't hurt it right then that one second. I like to do a slight jump shot delay. Occasionally I don't make that jump, it's not a big deal. You still make the uh, correct cycle here. Um, so for my routing, I found it quicker just to get this E-Tank. The other option is in Wily 1, just going force a death if needed. And then you can't damage boost an area that I really like to damage boost. So this uses up about 3 seconds. So you just jump up here. You try just to go and slide to the end normally. You're probably just gonna die. So you have to do slide cancels. So you slide, press up, slide, press up. Slide, press up, slide, press up. That's all you gotta do for that. It takes a little bit of practice, but it only eats about three seconds total to grab that E-Tank, and I find it's totally worth it in this run. Uh, the Star Droid stages are especially difficult. And, and Wily won because of what we need to do for Buster only. We need to take a lot of damage uh, to either force death or don't have as much damage boost or just get the e out. Um, so you're going to want to charge shot down here. Another one of these guys. Full shot. Three regular shots. They go down. Occasionally you get lucky and your full charge shot will like whip back hit him from the front and then on the back. Requires pretty precise timing though. The full charge, three regular shots, and we move forward. Um, so I'll just go through that section again really quick. Fall down here, take the charge shot. I like to pause it briefly there. A lot of times I accidentally run into it if I'm trying to go too quick. And then we move on to the Mercury fight itself. So, this fight, like I mentioned earlier, the full shot doesn't go full screen, you have to walk forward a little bit. Then you're going to jump his shot. He has two different phases. This one I call the bouncy bouncy phase. It's pretty slow. And once he comes out, you hit him once. And then he's invulnerable again. And then you do it again. And uh, I'm just going to pause it here briefly. So, you can manipulate what pattern he does. It's based off of his health. If his health is at an odd number, he does the quicker pattern. The roly-poly pattern, we'll call it. If it's at an even amount of health, we'll do the bouncy bouncy pattern, which is a lot slower. Um, so we try not to have him in that pattern too much, but the trade-off, when you do a full charge shot to do three damage, um, so you can do a full charge shot does three damage, but there's times where to keep his health at odd numbers, like from seven to five, three, we have to do two damage, which is a half charge shot. But here, it's still quicker just to go and do a full charge shot. That's the last of the bouncy bounces we'll see. Um, put him in here. We do a half charge, he's at 5 health. Then he has 3 health left and you finish it off. So I'll go back over the fight, try to just describe it again. So the first one, we have a full charge shot already. Uh, try to delay charging for quite a bit here, just because charge shots at slowdown, so just wait a little bit. Don't charge immediately at the beginning of it. It's still quicker to do a full charge shot there, even though it puts him in the bouncy bouncy pattern. And then starting from this point, we start doing half charge shots. You can charge extremely late. Like I start sliding and then I charge there. Do it so late. I slide and now I'm charging. And then you can charge here, try to get towards the middle of the screen, and then fire. If you fire at a wrong, at a bad time, he can absorb your shot, and then you have to wait for him to bounce over to the other side or whatever. So that's a pain. You'll find it when you start running this game. Okay. And then we're gonna move on to Mars. It's Mars stage. Everybody loves Mars stage. So there's uh, two enemies we're gonna be seeing a lot here. There's these like robotic grasshoppers and robotic monkeys. They take four damage, which is a full charge and a regular shot. So you'll be seeing a lot of them. Here's one of the grasshoppers. There's a mine down there. If you walk over it, sometimes you get stuck on it for a little bit and it does an explosion, so just get out of its radius. Be those rocket buddies again later too. This one, not worth trying to kill. You can try to jump it. Um, but it can be difficult. Here. Monkeys. Alright. So, drop down here, kill a grasshopper. 
full charge in a regular shot, however you want to do it. Try to jump that. There we go, I got it this time. Full charge regular. Full charge regular. So, a lot of times, like, the like, gorilla there, or monkey, whatever. Um, just try to jump along with it. And have it in a good spot there. A lot of times, you'll get it before it fires. Um, just release the charge shot pretty far away there, just so the explosion doesn't get in your way. Got another grasshopper buddy. I ran into it, but, you know. Do this cleanly, so kill this guy. Full shot and regular shot. Try to jump this guy. Fine. But it. Full shot, regular shot, full shot, regular shot. Out there just because it um, has more distance. It takes a full shot to kill those rocky guys, anyways, so more of these grasshoppers. And more. Alright, so. Yep, charge here. Um, so, something you can do here is like lead that shot, then all you need is the full charge after. It takes four damage, right? Well, you missed the first shot there. So I like to lead some shots in there, then you can do that. Probably won't need that health up there. You can get caught on the mine like I just did right there, so be very aware of that. And then you just charge and jump shoot it however you like there. A few different ways to do that part. However you want to do it where you get four damage in as quick as possible. Uh, then we get to the mini boss. There's two different renditions of the mini boss here. Um, the first phase, you have to do a brief hesitation at a point. So, full charge shot on the second one, full charge here, wait, and a full charge, and that's it. Very simple. There's another fight a bit later, has a slightly different pattern, even easier to do. So, again, we just fall straight here. You don't want to run into spikes. We're gonna jump this Stegosaurus boy. We're gonna jump this Stegosaurus boy. <laughs> There we go. Here, I like to call this the Rolodex Buddies. They take a long time to kill, so we're just gonna slide through them. You can slide and fall down um, right next to where that gorilla is, so you don't even have to kill it, or do anything about it. And then you saw me kill it right there. Um, so it takes two full charge shots. When it's spinning around, you can't hurt it. I hope I can have an example for it, but it's not a big deal. There's a... it's at the end of the stage as well. So you can either just kill this guy, I can just spam buster shots so I'm gonna do that. And then kill this thing from a far enough distance, but it's pretty slow doing it that way. So what we're gonna do instead... Kill this thing. I'm gonna save here. You can damage boost. Uh, you wanna go sli slide slightly past the mine and then jump into that bullet. That's how I usually do it, is I just make sure that I'm pretty deep in here jump and run into that missile, and then you just slide across. You'll have enough high frames to make it. There's a way to damage boost here, but I'm not consistent with it, so I just kill it, then jump into the uh, missile. The missile only does two points of damage, whereas if you run into the body, it does a lot more damage than that. So if you do it wrong, you might get hit twice there. Slide, pretty late jump. Yep, so you can get hit twice there if you don't do it right. Pretty tight window. Definitely worth doing. Then just jump into the missile and go through. Then we get mini boss number two. This one you just need to go really, really quick. So once the platforms are at the right height, just jump, get in there, get off. Because it's going to shoot an egg right at you there. You need a full charge shot to do the damage necessary there. The next screen, you're going to want to have a full charge shot to go and kill these. Once you can kill them, you just jump right over it and you'll be fine. I'm gonna kill some more monkeys. However, you want to do four damage in there. Full charge, jump. Full charge, jump. Full charge, regular. Full charge, regular. And then we get the uh, Rolodex buddy at the end here. So you do a full charge shot, it spins around, you can't hurt it then. You have to wait for it to, its head to come back. Then you can damage it. 
Um, so yeah, we're gonna go on to the Mars fight. This one's kind of hard to just go and describe as I do it, but you're gonna do a full charge shot, regular shot, and jump, 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 F charge shot, and then you just spam uh, Buster here for a little bit. He's invulnerable for a brief moment there. Destroy a mine, wait for him to come back up, and then you just spam bullets to the end around the uh, middle of the screen, and that's the fight. So the idea is just get as much damage as you can within each cycle. If you get hit, you'll get like a knockback, and you might not get as much damage in. Um, if you try to shoot him immediately as he comes back after the charge, your um, shot will get deflected. So you just have to pause briefly when he comes back to resurface. So I fit in a half charge shot in there. A little jump rope with the regular. Whoops. Could kill me, but we'll see. <laughs> Just spam buster shots and hope that you uh, meet his shots exactly, basically. As long as you kill him like that, it's fine. So you do need to have, like, okay mash for that part. And that also is why your health management is really important. You see how it's down to, like, one little pellet of health, because I made a mistake. If I made any more mistakes on the stage, it would have been a death. Cost quite a bit of time. You know, you gotta respawn, wait for the boss door to open, wait for the boss intro animation, it's health to go up, all that stuff, the usual stuff. So we're gonna move on to uh, Venus's stage. You can do right, right, or left, left, doesn't matter. Right, right goes clockwise, clockwise, left, left goes counterclockwise, counterclockwise. Uh, so there's a couple ways to do the intro screen. I'm just going to do the way that I do it. It's very consistent, very easy, slightly slower than the optimal approach. So you just jump, get the charge shot, regular shot, go. So let me try it the other way. That's very difficult. You need to get a uh, pretty well timed uh, slides in there without dying either. Like that. So you can do it like that. It can be difficult to get uh, consistently. But that is the quicker way to do it. And here you need to do the jump charge and regular shot. See if I can keep doing the uh, quicker one for a little bit. Okay, getting better at it. Do full charge and a regular shot there. So what I usually do is just like, you know, come up here, that's full, then jump and get the last one. The next screen is pretty important. If you uh, do not make it here, if you don't do this pretty precisely, you're gonna get a lot of lag. So I'll show you what happens. Say you're just you know walking through, Your bees are still like just flying around. It's kind of annoying, but it can be even worse. So say you're you know you make it over here, you have some slight hesitation, you get bonked. Look how much slowdown there is. <laughs> really painful when you have that much slowdown. So ideally, get up here, slide, jump to the left, kill one, and then you go up. Um, on this bubble boy, you can either just uh, take the damage and go. I didn't kill this one though. Uh, the bubbles don't actually hurt you, they just hold you in place briefly. So you usually want charge shots going through these, because they do waste your time if you get stuck in the bubbles. So, I usually end up killing the first one. I just jump this, full charge shot, and three shots, so it takes six damage, basically. And you're gonna need a charge shot going here. I don't do anything super precise. Another full and three. The waterfalls push you down, so you can't just blindly jump into them. Back here. I so just jump it, kill it, continue on. Get a little bit of the bubble there. Got another charge shot going to kill the next crab. Then I just wait briefly. If you're really, really, really quick, you can make that cycle. That's very difficult. Um, so, I like to have a charge shot here, so I can just go like that, like that. And I can just slide through there. So. Like 
that. Slide, jump shot, slide, go. I don't need to be charging at this moment, so I could do minor optimization, but I'll need it up here. So we'll see a new enemy here. These uh, owls, basically, they, like suck you in and push you out, basically. So I'll just show what they do. They suck you in, and they push you out. So, you need to do 5 damage to kill them, which is a full shot, followed by a half shot. So I like to do the first full, walk away briefly so I don't get sucked into spikes, and then you jump into them with the last one. But I'll show it again here. Pull, do a little wiggle, get a half charge in there. You have to wait a little bit to get the half charge and then go. Here we can do a little trick. Um, what you can do is, if you're on a ladder, if you hold right or left while you're on the ladder, the water won't push you down. So if I just hold up here, or what? Okay, I'll start holding up now, you'll fall. It'll even push you through the platform. But if you hold right, you just gotta go hang out there. So it's a little bit quicker. Do that, kill the guy, hold right, wait for it to subside, then you go up. And then you wanna start a charge here. You can release it after you finish sliding to go and knock out that bee. Then you continue on. There we go. Dead before you release the bubble. It's good enough for me. Alright, so we're coming to a section here where we have a new mechanic in the stage. And it's really important to understand this mechanic. Uh, if things go wrong, you really need to understand how it works. There'll be these bubbles on the ground. There'll be small ones and big bubbles. Um, let's go down to the next screen to show you. Uh, let me just take out these keys first. Alright, so, you try jumping on the small one, you don't jump very high. You jump on the big one, you jump really high. So you notice how they're different sizes. You can still slide on them as normal. Um, and once you jump on them, I'm not pressing anything. You're kind of just stuck in this bouncing animation for a little bit. I mean, don't do that, obviously. But yeah, so you, what you usually want to do is, for this first part, if you just hold right, that's the other thing. Don't just hold right. If you just hold right, you'll run into the spike. You can't I mean, you can't just hold right the whole time. You need to do a brief neutral there. And then once you stop sliding, I mean once you stop bouncing, you can do a slide. That's basically all you do here. So you release this on the way down. Don't hold right the whole time like I just did there. <laughs> Gotta stop holding right briefly. Wait to finish bouncing. And then there's a big bubble at the end I bounce up on. So. You have to just be aware of where the big bubbles are. Like, there's a big bubble, and I use that to propel myself up. Here's another room with uh, annoying little crab. Doesn't matter how you do it, you have to wait for this waterfall cycle no matter what you do. Can't do anything about that one. As long as you have to wait for like two waterfall cycles, it's fine. Here you can kill him before he shoots out a bubble. Let's go through this again. I like to release a, the charge shot down there. Doesn't matter how you do this, just kill it while you're waiting here. Uh, get a charge shot while going up here. There's a couple ways to do this section. This is the way I usually do. Slightly slower, but very, very, very safe. Then a full charge and regular shots afterwards. And then we come to one of the more precise rooms. So, call these the Doom Bubble Rooms. I described it um, in the earlier bubble room we ran into. So what's going to happen is we're going to slide as we go into this room and drop and release the uh, charge shot. Uh, we're gonna have to bounce over a spike. And then uh, we need to go and move forward a little bit. We're gonna be stuck in a bouncing animation. And we're gonna release the charge shot again to go and kill a bee pretty far away. We'll have to slide under some spikes. Oh, this Joe, but yeah. Here we go. Can't hold right the whole time there. Wait for the big bubble. Jump at the big bubble. So, do it again. Slide, release. If you release at a wrong time, you'll bump into it like that. There we go. Gotta go neutral very, very briefly there. And there we go. So this one you will want to practice quite a few times. I've died in this room countless times from getting too close to any of the spikes. Or not jumping at the right uh, big bubble spot. You can also exit better, where you don't have to bonk like... You either bonk that ceiling and get in, which is, you know, it's fine, it happens, but, um, ideally, you get right inside of there. You need to be pretty far to the edge, like that. Get right into there. 
that saves you a brief amount of time. Um, here, waterfalls, you just gotta wait. You're gonna have to charge for a little bit here, so don't add more slowdown if you don't need to. This still is a little bit early on the charge, but you're gonna need to release it there, because there's a blob to kill. And then there's another uh, crab person here. And then there'll be an owl for the rest of this, and then uh, just about at the Venus door right now. Gun here, slide, jump, get that charge shot out, jump and shoot it normally, and then you continue on. Seems to be the quickest way to do this section. And then we move on to the Venus way itself. He has some RNG to him. He'll be releasing some bubbles and hopping around. Um, so you're gonna slide at the beginning and then jump and release a charge shot. While facing the correct direction. <laughs> so, we're gonna do a slide here. And then jump and fire. Just because he has so many different ways he can hop that uh, you want to make sure your, all your hits, all your shots hit him. He has these bubbles that'll absorb your buster shots. And they also add quite a bit of slowdown to the stage. If I don't do anything for a bit, like it just adds like a little bit of slowdown. He'll just like walk into you as well. That's how I like absorb my buster shot. So like, if I'm trying to like shoot him there, that's how much like slowdown is added basically. So that's basically what you're fighting is he keeps throwing these bubbles around. Um, so I most of the time just try to go and stay pretty close. Walk with them, do half charge shots, spam basically, because it's very efficient. Half charge, half charge, half charge. He's gonna jump, jump very high. That bolt, that uh, bubble's gonna get in my way. That bubble's gonna get in my way. This is not a good pattern. That bubble's basically gonna get in my way for a bit there. So and then try to kill him towards the middle of the screen as usual. Let's try to go and do the fight from start to finish here. So, I jump, shoot. Give a high hop there, that bubble's gonna get in my way. He does the high hop, you might as well just do a full charge shot. He absorbed one of my hits there. So this is a very, very bad example, so. He can give patterns like that where he just tends to be popping his bubbles right in your face when you're releasing a shot. So hopefully he doesn't do that, but he can. See, now he's doing a small hop. There's a good amount of RNG to these bosses, even on like the exact same save point. There we go, and he's dead. But for the most part, just stay really, really close to him. If a bubble looks like it's gonna get in your way, just jump and run into the bullet or knock it down or whatever you want to do. Especially if he's, if he's really high up in the air and a bubble's about to come in your path, just jump and run into the, bu the bubble, as long as you have health for it. 